of the possible probability of X and Y still comes down to the fact that you've got to do the groundwork as a historian to be able to put your computation in. So you need to do the groundwork as a historian and the assessment of data in order to then to start to say X and Y, put X and Y together, you get whatever. In other words, unless your historical method begins with is objective or using the basic scholarly tools that are being used, your computations are just going to be subjective. So in other words, the Bayes theorem is no excuse for doing good historical research and presenting good historical evidence. And that's why most historians, if not yeah, the vast majority, hardly anyone uses it. That's why hardly anyone uses the Bayes theorem. If you want to read up on that, I would read uh, Lycona's The Resurrection of Jesus and read the first uh, 100 pages and you'll get some exposition on the Bayes theorem and how how it's been debunked as a historical method. So the atheist scholars such as Richard Kaya would come <coughs> to the question of the resurrection using the Bayes theorem. That can be easily discounted. <coughs> the next thing is Richard Carrier would then present um, a thesis and the thesis would be that over time there has been a development of myth uh, through the texts and again this is a misrepresentation of the data there is already even within the first couple of years of the death and resurrection of Jesus historical material that counters what a Richard Carrier would say so we have in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, in the first few verses, we have Paul saying, I, this is what I received of first importance. That word first importance, uh, scholars will tell you, and if you if you want to get a lecture on this, listen to, um, i trying to think what his name is. Um, yeah, J.P. Moreland. You listen to J.P. Moreland on the resurrection. Uh, and he'll give you some details about this and also uh, James Dunn's uh, Jesus Remembered listen to some of his lectures he's definitely not on our side but uh, he's one of the most eminent scholars on G historical Jesus studies go and listen to him uh, and uh, you'll get some of this kind of information that will help you but in the first few verses Paul says uh, of which I've received a first importance that word first importance scholars will tell you goes right back as a tradition